Hi, Leos. I'm back. Hope y'all ready. All right, so this is going to be from December 19th until January the 2nd. January the 5th, I'm sorry. I don't know where I got the second from. All right, so this is from today, which is the 19th, up until January the 5th. What messages do we have for Leos? How are they going to bring their new year in? What's going on? What's What's been happening with Leos? How much do you have for Leos? This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Leos, okay? Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Leo somewhere in your chart, Moon, Rising, you can apply this video as well. Leos from today until January 5th. All right, let's see. Oh, we have free yourself. All right, so it's time to take back control of your life. That may be like a New Year's resolution or something that you feel as if would be good for you to bring in a new year, which I feel like is amazing. Um, taking back control of your life, freeing yourself from a situation or a thought, a mentality, or something that is holding you down and freeing yourself, okay? I love it. I love that fresh energy. All right. So let's see. In love. Leo's in love. All right. So past energy, guys, we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Present energy, we have flirt. All right. So extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, y'all might be doing a little bit of flirting. Hmm. All right, so near future, guys, we have codependency. All right, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, so what additional messages are there for Leo? Please give me clarifiers for Leos. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands, guys. So there could be some communication coming in, possibly from a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or some of you guys are traveling, going at a distance. I'm sensing this communication. Oh, lots of truth um, being spoken here. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Leo's. My Leo's. All right. So for... The past energy, guys, for it is safe for you to love. I feel like there is some clarity that you've gained or understanding or some type of truth. I feel like it was something that you had to realize about yourself. I feel like maybe there was some truth that possibly came out. And a lot of you guys decided um, that you were going to stay single or you wanted to be single. Okay, some of you guys could have been dealing with the Libra. But I feel like there were some things that you need to balance out. Could have been your finances, could have just been anything about yourself in particular. I feel like some of you guys have just decided that, you know, I feel as if you're focusing on yourself, really. Right now with flirt, some of you guys are definitely flirting. Um, there could be some spying going on. There could be some spying going on on social media, or there could be um, some gossiping going on. 
Maybe you're looking for a potential mate here with this lover's card. Um, you, you have your eye on someone or someone has their eye on you. And I feel like there's many options here. There's not just one particular person. I feel like there's many options here with this seven of cups here. So I feel like you're, you're on a scene right now. You're on a prowl. But I feel like here with codependency, some of you guys may be drinking too much. Going into the near future, some of you guys may be drinking or there's some type of other habit that's possibly like partying or going out or having too much fun. You know, y'all Leos, y'all like to party, y'all like to have fun. I get it. I get it. Trust me. I understand. You guys are mad fun to be around. Um, but I do feel like there may be a decision to kind of like cut it a little bit. Uh, I'm sensing like a quickly deciding, a drastic, I feel like a quick decision to leave that lifestyle behind um, is coming around. I'm not sure if this is a New Year's resolution for you guys, but I do feel like some of you guys are like playing a field. Oh, excuse me. Some of you guys are playing a field. You're taking back control of your life. You're not. You're not really taking things too serious, as you know, as to where things would actually keep you, keep you mentally exhausted or whatever the case may be. I feel like some of you guys are deciding to let certain things go, things that no longer serve you. I'm sensing that a lot of you guys are. I'm feeling like that's a lot of you guys' New Year's resolution to focus more on yourself and taking back control. I need some more clarifiers. Please clarify. All right. See, here we go with this Ace of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But this talks about clarity, gaining this truth, okay? Getting the answers you need, questioning things. Yeah, this is like telling the truth. Some, it's like some honesty here. I'm sensing honesty, um, being clear about what you want. What additional messages do you have for Leo's? Some of you guys are wanting the truth, possibly. We got the King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So this is your, your energy. Yeah, some of you guys, these same cards are coming out. Same exact cards. So I'm definitely feeling... The first card here is that Nine of Pentacles. Again, so some of you guys are deciding to be single. Some of you guys are trying to find balance on the situation. Or some of you guys are dealing with the court systems. Or I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. But there's something about communication here. Waiting for to see what someone has to say. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with the court system. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with legal actions. Some of you guys are single and are trying to find balance on the situation. But I feel like there is some spying or someone is communicating. Someone is speaking some type of truth if you're waiting to hear the truth from someone. Some of you guys are really, really stressed out too. It's, some of you guys are dealing with legal issues here. Your desire is to stand your ground and defend yourself. And some of you guys are just deciding that you're going to take control over the situation. You're going to fight for your rights. <laughs> That's just what I'm getting. It's just the type of energy I'm getting. There could be a secret here. And you're waiting for the truth to be revealed. Some of you guys could have possibly be even dealing with like with a baby mother or a mother or someone who plays a motherly role. There could have been some changes in the past, okay? There could have been a lot of changes going on here from, from the past and past energy. But I feel like desires, you're trying to defend yourself. Some of you guys are like trying to stay free or is trying to stay or trying to we have the full card here. So it's like standing your ground. It's like trying to break free from a situation um, or to get or to come out of something sky free, like defending yourself for your freedom is what I'm sensing. That's why I feel like some of you guys are dealing with the court system or dealing with some type of legal issues. But I feel like there's going to be a balance 
and having everything back under control because we have the temperance card here going into the near future, which is about healing and balance. Um, and it's paired up with the nine of swords. So that's telling me that there's something that has definitely been worrying you when you're trying to find a balance on. But here with this emperor card, which is the card of Aries, this is telling me that everything is going to be, you have everything under control. Everything is going to balance out. I want to know why the justice card is here. Yeah, we got the devil card. There could be a Capricorn involved. But this talks about, this could be negative energy, okay? There's something that that you could be trying to find a balance on and get a balance on. And it could be involving energy. Your energy level um, is possibly off. You're feeling, you know, unstable or, you know, this is also talks about that codependency too. Someone could put, be very codependent upon you, very reliable upon you. And there's possibly things that you're trying to balance out about that situation. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you could be well off financially. You could be doing well financially. You could be being very independent. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? There's this options card again. I'm sensing single. And when we have this Ace of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands, well, this is saying that someone is being sneaky or cheating someone out of some money or lying about some about their money or lying about an opportunity or something here. But this Seven of Cups is and this Nine of Pentacles is telling me like single. Doing things on your own, being independent. There's lots of options, lots of uh, things around you, or there's a decision you decided to be single. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, nine of cups. You're desiring to be single. You want to have multiple options. You want to be well off. Please give me a past, present, and future for Leo's. Please give me a past, present, and future for Leo's. All right, High Priestess. Pisces energy, but this is talks about something that could be hidden, or um, this could also talk about your intuition. And I feel like some of you guys are doing some soul searching. There could be a Virgo involved. Your intuition is guiding you is what I'm getting. Let your intuition guide you. Things were very out of control um, in the past. It's like something was out of your control. I feel like now you're feeling having regrets because there's there's like issues here. There's you're, you could be feeling like defeated. But going into the near future, I sense like there's could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. But I'm sensing like a mutual understanding here. Um, Give and take. Someone could be rushing in. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio rushing in towards you. I feel like there's going to be a closure on this situation. Yeah. Planning on closing out this chapter, going into the near future. So I feel like there's something that you feel like was out of your control in the past. It could be involving three people. It could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius involved. We also have the Sun card here, which is um, the card of Leo. It's like someone, it's like now there's some regrets here and, and someone's asking for a second chance. Um, I feel like someone is going to get, I feel like there is like something about give and take here. Possibly with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone's going to be rushing in 
or there's a Libra Gemini Aquarius involved, I feel like planning on closing this chapter out, planning on closing this chapter and starting a fresh new chapter. OK, that's what I'm getting for you, Leos. All right. If this message resonates, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, I'll leave that information in the drop box below, guys. OK, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I hope to see you guys next time. Ciao for now.